it is time for my first review and unfortunately I had to pay for it physically mentally and monetarily let's review Mulan so Mulan is about this young girl saving her father's life by taking his place in the army to make sure that he survives because he is badly injured so she impersonates being a man in order to join the army and fights her way through and tries to help not just her father but eventually save all of China so that's pretty much the basic synopsis of this movie now if you are looking for a shot by shot remake of the animated version you are out of luck and I was very disappointed with this because while I may not have wanted a shot for shot by the time this movie ended I would have given my left leg for a shot for shot remake because this movie is all over the place and I did not care for it one bit. Let's talk about some of the cons on this. There are no songs in this. There's zero singing. All those great songs we had in the animated version, gone. The soundtrack, gone. A lot of the characters are either taken out or they have been switched with different characters. One example is the little cricket in the animated version. We have an actual person named Cricket in this movie. The grandmother, gone. Mushu, we already knew, gone. Um, Mulan's love interest, the captain, gone. The main villain switched to a different main villain. They added a witch to it. It, I don't know what they were trying to do with all these switches, trying to make it a little bit more realistic or give it a different, like more serious tone, but none of these things helped this movie in any way. So we start off this movie with a young Mulan in her village and I have to say one quick thing about this because the village in this was so badly filmed. I looked like I was watching an actual set or like something on a Broadway like stage. It looked everything looked staged and everything was very colorful. I don't know why Disney tries to do this with some of their live action films but there's way too much color in this. So we start with a young Mulan and long story short she has some special abilities that is derived from her chi which could be interesting that they try to incorporate this whole Chinese um, culture into this but for her character for the movie to move forward it was very very strange because it kind of makes her look like she has superpowers and I did not understand the choice for that at all so because she has these special abilities um, she has to kind of just hide them away she can't be herself and I think that's kind of the message this movie is trying to get across is for her to be herself, don't hide who you are. Which overall is a good message, but it doesn't do anything for her character because she doesn't have anywhere to grow. And she's just there in the film and she just gets different scenes. And it's just like literally one sentence maybe from like a certain character in the movie. And then she just like completely overcomes whatever she's doing. And she's like just that's it that she just completely is in full control of being herself and it's not interesting it, it becomes boring it becomes so boring i don't care about anything else that's going on in the movie and i don't really i'm not really rooting for anyone you don't root for anyone in this movie that's just the main character of mulan i mean since you've taken away everything else we're pretty much left with nothing else you don't even have any kind of interesting confrontation with the villains because the villains are so bland and boring and they added this witch in there who doesn't really make sense in this movie I guess just to kind of have like something that is like a counter of Mulan to like help her find acceptance in society it's it, it doesn't make sense she's not even a really good villain she doesn't even need to be in this film and it just falls apart. But overall, I did not enjoy this movie. 
This was a terrible, terrible movie. It is so boring. It is so flat. I immediately finished watching it just so I could say I got through it and I watched the animated version. And the animated version just has so much fun and heart to it. it it's a more compelling film, which is sad because they have the materials right there and they couldn't adapt it to live screen. I don't understand why it was so difficult to put that with what they have and just give us a live action version of it. All they really had to do was make small little changes and maybe like add a few things. Small bits. And instead they did a complete 180 of the film and they gave us this. This complete pile of mess that took months of delay because of the pandemic. And they couldn't at least fix up some of the things in post-production? Are you kidding me? This is Disney live action at its worst and I have had enough of it. When you look back to the early stuff of the live action things that Disney was doing, such as Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Jungle Book, those were actually good. And when you see what they did to that, small changes were just like small changes and like like small add-ons that they did to it. It was, That's what made it good because they still were true to the source material and careful in adding certain things to the to the new movies and then after those they decided to just I don't know what happened Aladdin Lion King Dumbo now this for some reason they've been going on a downward trend and it is it is mind-boggling what they're doing with all these things because especially with this movie there are some epic scenes in this animated version that would have looked incredible on the live action screen because I remember all the big anticipation that I was going to make in the animated version it would have looked so cool here one quick example the hunt attack on the snow mountain in the animated version is so cool it has so much build up so much tension and it has a great score to it it is an incredible like i think it's maybe like four or five minutes of the movie right there and that's just that part there are plenty of other great scenes and funny scenes in the animated version and we get none of that in this version so i have to give this movie a hard pass do not spend your money like i did to watch this movie if you want to watch this movie because of curiosity i would definitely say wait wait until this is available in some format that's free or until they put it on disney plus in a few months and make it available for everyone but do not spend your money on this at all so with all that being said i think this might be the last live action disney movie I gave my money to. I was very optimistic. I was willing to give it a fair chance and they give me this. Not happy Disney. Not happy. Alright so I hope you guys enjoyed my first review on Real Quest. Um, I am going to give this an official let's say two thumbs down. I'm still working on the rating process but trust me this movie is not a girl worth fighting for. Pass on it, you will thank me. And for everyone watching, thank you for your time. I will see you on the next review. Yeah!